What's up, folks? I'm Chris, your MLB writer here at Occupy Fantasy, here with a quick look at the five-game main slate on DraftKings, FanDuel, and Yahoo tonight on Thursday, June 9th for MLB DFS. Not a ton of options to go through, so this will be a little shorter today, but Garrett Cole of the New York Yankees is the number one pitcher in the Occupy model to use in your lineups tonight. Uh, he's facing the Minnesota Twins here, and he projects for a slate high 17.4 OF index for us in this matchup with a really strong 1.29 strikeout per inning pitch projection. So right on with what he's averaged basically over the last year of, of his outings in Major League Baseball. So we're expecting the status quo from Garrett Cole here, who is the second biggest favorite on this slate. He's also the most expensive pitcher on this slate, but I think there's ways for us to get him into our lineups tonight. Shohei Otani with the Los Angeles Angels comes in second in our model with a 15 OF index on the button against the Boston Red Sox. Slight home favorite, slight line movement in his favor, highest strikeout per inning pitch projection on this particular slate tonight. All interesting things that are working in Otani's favor. This is a real problem. He has the ninth furthest batted ball distance allowed in Major League Baseball over the last couple of weeks of play, which means... Um, Guys are seeing the ball pretty well off him, hitting it, hitting it pretty far. And he's also facing a Red Sox lineup that is the toughest lineup anyone is going to face on this main slate tonight. So Otani is probably reserved for high risk only. I wouldn't go there in low risk contests this evening, even given the pretty high strikeout total. Now, a couple of other arms I think will be popular on this slate tonight. Max Freed with the Atlanta Braves is the biggest favorite, minus 278. Uh facing the Pittsburgh Pirates, who are one of the weaker opponents on this slate. And the Pirates strike out at a really well above average rate overall over the last month of play. Really good stack cast profile recently for Freed. So Freed is in an excellent spot here. The other name is Connor Pilkington with the Cleveland Guardians. Pilkington got up to five innings in his last outing against the Royals with eight strikeouts in those five innings. Really strong performance for him. Just $7,100 tonight on DraftKings, $7,700 over on FanDuel. I do think Pilkington is just a DraftKings uh, secondary pitcher option or a Yahoo secondary pitcher option on this slate. But a big favorite, minus 186 right now, and decent biggest line movement in his favor on the main slate. So have to like what Pilkington brings to the table. Pilkington projects for just 0.98 strikeouts per inning pitched. Uh, he's had more than that in recent outings, uh, but if you look at some of the projection models available through places like Fangraphs, he's actually expected to regress in the strikeout department. He's also expected to regress in the home runs allowed department. He hasn't given one up yet. Um, our, our, most of the models think he'll give up more than a home run per nine innings, 1.16 roughly. So he's sort of due for some regression there, and he has concerning batted ball distance on his side. So some warts with Pilkington, but an interesting mid-range option tonight on this slate. As always, we like to look at the lowest ranked pitchers in our pitcher model as a first indicator of which teams we want to stack on a main slate. James Caprillion with the Oakland Athletics against the Cleveland Guardians is going to be a name that we look at closer. JT Brubaker here with the Pittsburgh Pirates against the Braves. Dylan Bundy against the Yankees. And Chris Bubik against the Baltimore Orioles. All names we may be trying to stack against tonight. Let's see what the Occupy model thinks. The Braves, straight ones across the board by OF Index, projected isolated slugging, and projected weighted on base average against JT Brubaker tonight. JT Brubaker is poor against left-handed hitters. He allows an elite isolated slugging and weighted on base average to hitters that hit from the left side, and he allows an elite isolated slugging to hitters that hit from the right slide. Atlanta's number one on our model by far this evening. Uh, the Yankees come in second by OF Index, uh, looks like second on the slate by isolated slugging and weighted on base average. Slightly higher team total than the Braves. They're facing Dylan Bundy, who is actually worse against righties than he is against lefties. The Kansas City Royals. This is the interesting team tonight, in my opinion. Uh, third across the board here by these different metrics. Uh, OF index, isolate slugging, and weight on base average. Most important with Kansas City. Using our lineup builder, doing an MME run of 300 potential lineups you could run tonight. I got Kansas City primary stacks more than any other team in my first run this morning on this main slate. So our model does see some appeal to the Kansas City Royals in their spot against Jordan Lyles of the Baltimore Orioles, who was supposed to pitch yesterday. They got rained out. He's now going to pitch tonight against the Royals. Lyles, pretty poor against left-handed hitters. I want to look a little closer at the Kansas City Royals in our model uh, because of the fact that our lineup builder likes them tonight. There are a couple of lefties in this lineup that could succeed against Lyles. So the lefties to target in the anticipated lineup are going to be Andrew Benintendi, MJ Melendez, 
and Carlos Santana, who's a switch hitter, but he will hit lefty against a right-hander like Lyles. So those guys will be interesting. Obviously, we like Bobby Wood Jr., Salvador Perez every single time we play the Royals uh, on any given slate. Um, and all these guys at the top of the order have really strong recent stack ass performance as well with the Royals. So that's interesting. The Braves, number one in our model. Austin Riley with the Braves, the name I want to highlight. Second hardest batted ball exit velocity in all of Major League Baseball the last two weeks. 11th furthest batted ball distance in all of Major League Baseball the last two weeks. Looking like a strong player to consider as an anchor in Atlanta Braves stacks against JT Brubaker tonight. Uh, the lefties against Brubaker, Matt Olson, um, Ozzy Albies, a switch hitter. He'll hit lefty against him. Got him at the bottom here. Michael Harris, the other lefty. He's been struggling against right-handed pitching, but... Might be a spot for him to break out of the slump a little bit and a potential nice cheap piece in Atlanta Braves stacks if you choose to go that route this evening. So I've got a lineup here. Started with Garrett Cole. Five Kansas City Royal hitters. Plenty of room here to get something done. 4,600 per player remaining. Could go with uh, Freed, biggest favorite. Still have 29.66 per player. Anyone other than that, you obviously have more salary to work with. So I do think plenty of paths here to a viable high-risk lineup going this route. Over on FanDuel, Cole, four high upside Kansas City Royals hitters, 28.75 per player remaining. I think this is a viable path tonight. I hope uh, that if you choose to go this route, you have some success. We will have our final picks updated in the daily plug at OccupyFantasy.com by about 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to talk about MLB DFS up until then, there's a link to join our Discord below the description of every video that we post on this channel. We'd certainly love to see you in there. Good luck tonight, and we will talk to you soon for more MLB DFS.